next to Matthew, Mark, and Luke is the question about taxation. Matthew, it already says who they are, the disciples with the Herodians, and it begins saying, Master, we know that you are true and teach the way of God in truth. Neither care you for any man, for you regard not the person of men. Mark, and when they were come, they say to him, Master, we know that you are true and care for no man, for you regard not the person of men, but teach the way of God in truth. Luke, and they asked him, saying, Master, we know that you say and teach rightly, neither accept you the person of any, but teach the way of God truly. So, and they asked him, saying, Mark, and when they were come, they say to him, and Matthew just saying. So I guess I have to start with Mark, and when they were come, they say. So and is both Mark and Luke, when they were come. Mark has, they say to him, Luke, they asked him, saying. I'll have asked instead of just say to him, asked is more appropriate because they are asking the question they from both asked is Luke him is both saying is both the say part is all three all three master we know that you are true Mark, that you are true, Luke, that you say and teach rightly, neither accepted the person of any, but teach the way of God truly. So Luke does have true or some form of it at the end. care for no man for you regarding the person I would teach the way of God in truth. Okay, so true is earlier in Mark and later in Mark. Matthew, we know that you are true and teach the way of God in truth, neither care you for any man, for you regard not the person of men. So Matthew has it twice as well, more close together. I think I like the way how Mark has it. We know that you are true, you have integrity, you're honest, you're not biased towards men, you treat everyone the same, but teach the way of God in truth. So it starts with truth and ends with truth. Luke, we know that you say and teach rightly, neither accept you the person of any, but teach the way in truth. So Mark and Luke are close together, there's more in Mark, but yeah. We know that you say and teach rightly. Only Luke has say and. The others have teach truly or rightly. Luke has teach twice, but teach the way of God truly. Teach the way of God in truth. That's in Mark. Teach the way of God in truth. So there's just an added statement in Luke. You say and teach rightly. I guess I'll just add that in. So we know that you are true. Maybe I should start with that. We know that you are true and say and teach rightly. Yeah, that's what I'll do. We know that you are true. That is all three. You are true, only Matthew and Mark. And then I'll add from Luke the extra statements just beginning right at you. I don't need to have another and. You say and teach rightly. And then in Luke it ends, neither accept you the person of any, but teach the way of God truly. So now is the question accepting the person of any. 
Mark has, and care for no man, for you regard not the person of men. So that's connected. And care for no man. That's how it would end these statements of what you are. We know you are true, you say and teach rightly, and care for no man. Matthew has neither care you for any man. But I would put that after having you do not do something. You do not do this, neither do you do that. So I think we're going to just go right into and care for no man. Instead of neither care you for any man. And you care for no man. Yeah, I think I'm going to have it like that. I'll have the you from Matthew, the and from Mark. Okay, I know where the neither can go. The neither can go where it says in Luke. That is the last statement from Mark. Neither accept you the person of any. Mark, the word and... Now, Matthew, the word you, care for no man, care for any man. Well, I have to go with no because I'm not using neither here. So care for is both mark no man. For you regard not the person of men. Matthew, for you regard not the person of men. Luke is a bit different. Neither accept you the person of men. So I think I'll put regard, that's the majority witness, and I'll put neither from Matthew and Luke. Mark has, for you regard, not the person of men, but since I am going to put neither, I can't put not. Neither regard you the person of men. Matthew, for you regard Yeah, I can put the U now. Luke. Neither accept you. Okay, so it's the style of Luke. You, the person from all three, of men only from Mark and Matthew. That's the end of the verse in Matthew. Mark, but teach the way of God in truth. Matthew has that earlier. And teach the way of God in truth. Luke, but teach the way of God truly. So I'll put in truth. And I will put but, because it's contrary to what they just said before. You care for no man, neither regard the person of men, but... You act in truth. So, not Matthew. Mark and Luke. Teach the way of God. That's all three. In truth is Matthew and Mark. Matthew has the best introduction. Tell us, therefore, what think you... Tell us, therefore, what think you? Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? All right, I've been thinking a long time of a comment I could make about Jesus' response to this question. About paying taxes to Caesar. We are in a time where taxes fund all sorts of things. And, um, well, no comment. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Mark, is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Luke, is it lawful for us to give tribute to Caesar or not? So I'll add the 4S from Luke, but everything else is all three. Is it lawful, Luke only, for us, back to all three, to give tribute to Caesar or not? Mark, there's another added question. Shall we give or shall we not give? 